And I'm Brittany, thanks for joining us. Today we're going to do our February empties. So make sure you get something to drink and a snack because we got a lot of empty stuff this month. So I'm gonna start with home fragrance. And first thing I'm gonna talk about is this giant bottle because it's empty. This is the Febreze Fabric Freshener Spring and Renewal. I've had this like forever, but I've been using it in my son's room because of course you don't want to burn candles in there or use Scentsy or anything like that. He's a toddler, so I don't put anything plugged into the wall. Um, but I did want something to just freshen up his room. So I spray this on the curtains because that way it makes a nice, nice fr light, fresh scent, but it's not something that he's going to put his face on, he's going to eat, he's going to touch, anything like that. So, um, I like the scent. It wasn't like fantastic, but I'll probably just get a little room spray next time. Sorry, I have to get it all out of the way. I also used up this Scentsy White Tea and Cactus um, bar. It was pretty fresh. It wasn't my favorite scent. I know it's popular, but I probably wouldn't repurchase this particular scent. Used up a wallflower from Bath and Body Works. This goes in my laundry room. I keep wallflowers in there to keep it fresh. This was farm stand apple, and it was dyed like red. And I've noticed the ones that they color are not nearly as strong in scent as mm -hmm. the ones that are clear. So I won't be buying any more colored ones, but I do love the, um, the apple scents from Bath and Body Works. So I'll be buying those again. Had a Yankee Candle Macintosh car. These are little car vent clips. Love that. Um, Timberwick Nature's Glow Vintage Moss Candle. I picked this up on sale at the grocery store. It's burnt down the back here. Clung to the sides of the jar, but otherwise, as far as a wood wick candle, this one burned really nicely. Great throw, beautiful scent, pretty good price. I'd definitely buy this again compared to the wood wick. This is like five stars. Finished up the Yankee Candle Pink Dragon Fruit small jar that we just talked about in the haul video. This only burnt for about four days. I don't know why, but it liquefied really quickly, burnt down in record time. I like the scent, um, but knowing it went that fast, I probably won't buy it again. Okay. I have a Village Candle Lavender Mist. It also has a wood wick. Didn't burn down all the way. This one I had to baby forever to get it to work correctly. I wouldn't buy this again. Bath and Body Works Small Candle and the Farm Stand Apple. Like I said, this is one of my favorite scents. Love it. Always smells fresh. I've, I've probably used 30 of this scent alone. And a large Pumpkin Caramel Latte Candle from Bath and Body Works from two years ago. Um, nice coffee pumpkin, a little bit of caramel scent to it. I love this and I'm going to miss it. Okay, my finishes four candles. The first is Marshmallow Fireside by... Um, White Barn Bath and Body Works. It did not, I even tried to like help it along to burn correctly. It didn't want to. It clung all to this side and it just finally was like just burn however you want to. I don't care. So I'm a little perturbed at that. I did like this smell paired with um, teak. Mahogany teak wood? Yeah, mahogany teak wood. I don't really like um, this one by itself at all. But um, finish that one up or as best as it could finish itself. Um, I have some votive candles from Yankee Candle, Midsummer's Night, yeah, okay, Stormwatch, both sort of like manly-ish smells. Um, Midnight Jasmine, this is a really great jasmine smell, it smells like, like real confederate jasmine. Um, and Drift Away, which is kind of another, it's a, it's a fresher scent. Um, so yeah. That's it for my candles. And you don't have any hair I stuff. I have no hair no finishes. Hair so I'll go through my hair stuff really quickly. I um, have the empties that I talk about in our fail video. This is the Organics Moroccan Argan Oil Shampoo and Conditioner Mini. Hate them, hate them. They ruin my hair and I will never buy them again. Also have the John Frieda Sheer Blonde Color Renew Tone Correcting Shampoo. I got this based on a review from someone here on YouTube. Um, when the first time I used it, I thought, oh yeah, I can tell a difference. And since I've used it and redyed my hair and used it and used it and used it, I, I can't tell. I don't think it does anything to reduce brassiness or whatever it says it does. But it smells really good and it makes my hair soft. I wouldn't buy it alone, you know, or again for the co color correcting alone, like tongue twister. I wouldn't buy it for that. But it smells good. If I found it dirt cheap, I might buy it. I have the Aussie 3 Minute Miracle Moist Conditioner. This is like 3 or $4. We all know it. We've all tried it. It's the second one. I don't think that it's particularly awesome, but I wanted something to go with the John Frieda, so I've used that up. That's it for hair. 
Uh, first I have this face primer, vitamin E face primer by Chorus. I actually, this sample has been just sitting in my makeup thing. What is it? A box? Tray, vanity. For my, it, it's, a, it's a box for this stuff that goes on my face skin. <laughs> wow, I'm like, I don't know what that's called. Box. box. Wow. <laughs> um, I have repurchased this. This is the little sample size. The full size is like this big. Um, I obviously loved it because I repurchased, but this is being thrown away because it's been sitting here forever. Um, I got this Lancome Je 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 Pique. Pique. Um, I didn't, there's, it was nice on my face. You can't I, tell anything from no. that size. Like, you would have to get it and use it over and over and over and over and over, yeah. and I just, I'm not in the mood to do that right now. So those, those are my biggest finishes. I finished up my Cetaphil Daily Facial Cleanser. It's a 16 ounce bottle. I've been using this um, for probably two years and I love it. It's absolutely changed my skin. Do not make the mistake if you use this getting the gentle because it's totally different consistency, totally different feel. It does not take your makeup off. I love this. It takes off even my Revlon color stay. Um, and I've already got another one in the shower and another one back up and I will continue to buy this forever. I have the Clinique 7 Day Scrub Cream. This is my second or third one of these. Um, I like it pretty well for a facial scrub. I'm always kind of on the hunt for a new one, but I don't use them all the time. So it's hit or miss whether or not I'm going to have one in the shower. But I did like this. I've repurchased it a few times. I've repurchased it a few times and um, I'll probably buy it again. I finished up this Lancome. Benefite Multivital 30 SPF sunscreen. It's a moisturizer with sunscreen. Got this as a deluxe sample with the Sephora order. It has that Lancome rose scent, but it stung my face. And I don't know why, but it was like that metallic taste in my mouth, no matter how much I put on my face, and it just kind of like stung. But it was so moisturizing, <laughs> and the sunscreen was there, but I continued to use it, but I wouldn't purchase it again. Um, finished up this Bare Minerals Active Cell Renewal Night Serum, and this lasted like eight days. It's this little teeny tiny vial that I got for free from Sephora inside JC <laughs> And I thought, this is not like how much. There's like three drops in there. I used it for eight days, and every morning, like the dead skin was off my face. It was coming off. So yes, this stuff works. I don't know what the price is. Um, if you're looking for something to like really exfoliate your skin um, chemically without like a scrub, this would be good, but definitely worked. I finished up this Ulta Skin Care Instant Nourish Facial Moisturizer. Um, they gave this to me free with a purchase, with a purchase, with a purchase. It was like this whole weird big freebie thing where I got like six things free when I bought two. It felt good, but it has um, willow bark extract in it, which makes my skin burn. I've had a lot of burning skin in February, but you know, we fixed that now. Um, so if I put too much on it did burn, I just, I guess I just have a reaction to willow bark. I wouldn't purchase it again. It wasn't anything extremely special. Also finished up this Murad Acne Clarifying Mask with 4% sulfur. Um, I used to use this as a spot treatment and then I realized, oh wait, it's not actually a spot treatment, it's a mask. So um, I've had it for probably a year and this is only like an ounce and it's lasted so long. It actually really does work. It clears things up pretty quickly. And again, this was another freebie from Sephora. <laughs> you were missing out. I know. <laughs> I couldn't use that anyway. So. It's strong stuff. Finished up a Benefit Pore Professional Primer sample from mm -hmm. Sephora. Self-explanatory. And my fail from January, I finally finished it because I did need the extra moisture. This um, Skin 79 BB Diamond Collection luminizing beauty balm. That's it for that. I'm going to go on to makeup. Makeup. Okay. Wow. Um, so I have probably three different bags of places that I keep cosmetics. I don't know why. Um, at some point when I was moving, I just stuffed a whole bunch of stuff in one place. So I'm like slowly going through and purging. Um, so you'll see these things. This is Onyx, it's eyeshadow, it's Mary Kay. I used to sell it, I don't anymore. Um, it's just gray, medium gray, dark gray, tossing that. 
This cover girl, I've had it forever. Um, Ironing answers, I don't know. I used it for a long time. It's like plumbing and colors, tossing it. Um, so, oh. um, Mary Kay eyeliner, black, regular black eyeliner, nothing special. Being tossed. What else do I have eyes? Oh, Tarte Lifted Natural Eye Primer with Fermidol. This actually, I don't, I got it with, I think I got it when I got my Tarte palette a, like a while back. I don't remember ever opening it or using it. And so the other day I was looking through, I was like, oh, I haven't used this yet. I'll try it out. And so I started using it and I got um, styes in both my eyes mm. all over the place. And as soon as I quit using this, they went away. So it's not even like it was, I don't, I'm not even sure it was bacterial infection because I feel like that would have kept going. Mm -hmm. um, so this did not work for me, even like as a primer. It worked good as a primer, but for anything lifted or whatever, not that great. And now I hate wands and any sort of eye product. <laughs> <laughs> Mascara, I can't help it, but anything else I'm never going to touch again. Um, this is a liquid liner by Mary Kay Black. It was fine, but it's getting tossed. This Almay Line Smoothing Concealer, I got it from a CVS sale. We were actually tossed the one I just last month. Yeah, finished last month. Um, it got and, rancid. And yeah, pretty much. And it's actually too dark for me anyways. Um, this is Mark Kiss Ink Lip Tint Marker. It's in a red color. Does it? Red Siren. It actually made my lips feel weird every time I used it. So I quit using it, but now it's been sitting there and I have to toss it. Um, I have these two Mary Kay Signature Lip Glosses. This one is Pink Pearl and this one is just a gold shimmer color. This packaging, I'm sure they've changed it by now, they had to have, um, leaks. It's completely closed and it leaks. Is this where it's come away from the bottle or is it like getting funk like my Mark did? Like, I, I can't tell if that's color or it's like looks mottled. <laughs> I think it's like it's, separating and getting yeah. weird. It's been in the bag under my sink for at least five years without being touched. So, yeah, I have Why do I make that face? I just had that stuff in my car. Bad <laughs> of things, which I'm slowly going through. Okay, now the rest of this lip stuff is actually a bag of stuff Brittany got from someone. She oh, regifted it back to me and out or over to me, and they're just these randomly colored lipsticks that I can't, I found there was one, two, there were two that I can use. The rest of them are like brown raisinies. There's three Stila's. It looks like somebody hit like a really good sale and just bought everything and then yeah. realized they couldn't wear a lot of them. Exactly. So three Stila's, one Lorac, which is also again, Lorac. like a weird Lorac, Lorac, whatever. <laughs> Lorac. Um, Chanel. Pencil, double under pencil. Is that the one with like black? No, that's one of the Stila's, or maybe it's this one. That's, but it, I don't think I've ever opened this. <laughs> this I was this was not, by the way not like a somebody sent me a gift of oh, brand new products. Black. It was somebody sent me a gift of stuff that they had already had sitting around or used or tried, and I said, Leah, do you think you might want to melt down some lipsticks and reuse sure. them? And she's like, Yeah. Mm -mm, didn't no. happen. So, yeah, no, this was, it looks black, but it's, it's like a like weird brown color. black honey. It looks like one color and it's totally different. So but those are all getting tossed because I'm just sitting there just wasting space. Just don't know. All right. So this month I finished up this Wet n Wild. This was considered their taupe eyebrow pencil. It's like this long for a dollar, um, but it's really a dark brown. And I could use it on my eyebrows, but I had to have a very, very light hand and brush, brush, brush it out. But you see this right here? I guess it's smart, I don't know, but I wish it would have like some kind of mark um, because there is no lead from here back. So keeps it handy when you need to sharpen, but mm -hmm. there's nothing in there if you're expecting it to go all the way to the end. I also finished up this All May Pink Blush that I talked about being my favorite. It's completely, totally gone. Leah very kindly gave me her, so I do have another one of those to use. Finished up this CVS brand chap block 
This is their answer to Chapstick Original. I use this on my eyebrows um, as a brow wax. And um, just brush in my eye pencil, swipe this on, brush it out with a brush or comb, and everything's set. I've been doing that for years. Okay, I also finished up two mascaras. The first is Avon Super Shock Mascara in black. I've used this several times. It's a good um, natural looking but separated and defined mascara. And L'Oreal Voluminous Original in black. I didn't care for this at all. I don't get what the hype is. It made my lashes really clumpy. Go on to body care. Sure. I only have one. It is the Victoria's Secret Smoothing Body Scrub and Island Escape. This is, again, like I think this it's has old. to be like two years old at least. At least. Um, got them on sale. It was three for like 12, 15. So this is the first of three that I've finished. Um, I have a problem with I get things and I get interested in something else. It's also how I read books. It's sad. Um, so <laughs> these will be getting worked out. It, it was a... It's a good scrub. It um, I like a little more oil in my scrubs, like um, Bath and Body Works, um, the Margarita. Yeah, Margarita. Yeah, True it has. Spa. Thank you. And it has way more oil. This was actually drying to my skin. It was a good scrub, but it dried my skin out. So. I also finished a scrub. This is the Tree Hut Shea Sugar Body scrub in coconut lime. All their scents that I've been able to find have been really foody except for this one. Well, I mean, coconut lime is food, but it's not like cake. Um, it was okay. I bought it based on a YouTube recommendation. Um, it was pretty cheap. This had 15% more for free, but I felt like it just like totally disintegrated. It wasn't especially scrubby. The scent was good, but I probably wouldn't repurchase it. Also, I finished up this Aloe Vesta Shampoo and body wash, again, something from the hospital, but I was like, hey, one day I'm just going to want something plain and boring, and I'm going to use it. And I did. I finished up Warm Vanilla Sugar. I have said that I'm not a fan of Foodie Scents or Vanilla, but every year at Christmas time, I have a craving for Warm Vanilla Sugar, and I only want it, like, last two weeks of December, but then everything lasts a lot longer than that. So I just finished this up this month. I was kind of sick of it, used it on my legs before bed, and got rid of it. And then my very favorite scent is Bath & Body Works Paris Amora finished up a body cream. This is the Triple Moisture Cream and a Fragrance Mist. Finally finished up this Jumbo thing. This has taken me like a year. Yeah, it's so, forever. Love them, love them. I already have backup, so no worry about that. Now we're gonna go on to miscellaneous stuff. Okay, so miscellaneous, I have Too Faced. Woo! Um, Colgate Optic White really does whiten your teeth. I love this Too Faced. Um, Target nail polish remover, strengthening. It's, I hate Target nail polish remover. I do too. Um, but it's cheap, so well, I don't really, whatever. I buy what's cheap sometimes. And then CVS, round cotton pads, gone. I also have CVS round cotton pads, but I bought these way too big, ginormous, 250 squares. Well, they're not round, obviously, they're square. And mine were from Ulta. Here we go, Ulta. It's all the same, yeah. they're cotton squares. Um, pure silk, coconut note flower, shave cream, horrible, horrible stuff, I'd never buy it again. Satin Care with Olay shave cream, I didn't feel like it was special, it's more expensive than the Skin Tint, which I like, so I wouldn't buy it again. Colgate Optic White, this is like almost pure peroxide. It just tastes and feels like peroxide. But I got it for free, so whatever. Um, Dove deodorant. This is the ultimate go fresh in burst. This is the nectarine scent. Love it. I already have more of it. This is my last bottle of coconut oil. This is Kalapo Cold Pressed Unrefined Extra Virgin Coconut Oil. This was like $7 for 8 ounce. Trader Joe's is a much better deal. I've used this on my son. I've used this on my body, on my hair, on my fingernails. Everything. I buy the Trader Joe's. This is the Medela. It's Medela, not Medela, Mama's um, Tender Care Lanolin. This is actually a cream for breastfeeding mothers, but I've been using it on my cuticles because it works great for that. It's gone. And a Burt's Shea Butter Hand Repair Cream with Cocoa Butter and Sesame Oil. This found its way out of a drawer in the kitchen. I don't know how it got there, but it's at least four years old. It's almost completely gone. There's a teeny tiny bit left, but it's nasty, so it's going. Avon Footworks Marine Salt Invigorating Foot Scrub. I love this. I've probably used three of them. I've already got a backup. They're very cheap. 
and um, I feel like it's really, really good foot scrub. And then I finished up two more Bath and Body Works hand sanitizers. This is Winter Cranberry, and this was Sweet Pea. Again, my kid pulled a sticker off. So, finished those up. I've got one or two more already almost gone. And then our last category is babies. Um, my daughter. That covers your up. whole face. Put it up there again. <laughs> Peekaboo. Okay. Um, Johnson Shea and Cocoa Butter Baby Wash. Um, says it moisturizes. It at least didn't dry her skin out. She has dry skin. It's not as dry as mine, but whatever. I always buy these big bottles, and she can just have fun in her bags. <laughs> Um, my son's used up another Avon Naturals kids amazing apple body paint roller. He calls them bomb bomb bomb. Check out the last empties video to find out why. It's pretty cute. Also finished up the Johnson's Baby Shampoo and Head to Toe Body Wash, which he just uses this as a body wash and this as a shampoo because he does have really thick, really weird hair and it requires shampoo rather than just like little baby stuff. And if you have a kid and they've been sick and you haven't heard of these, you need to find boogie wipes. Boogie wipes. These are the grape scent. They are saline cloths. They're like kind of like wet wipes but softer and filled with saline. And they help dry and clear everything out. And we had these left over from last winter-ish. So they, I mean, it's like 90, 120 or something. But we love them. We use them all the time. And that's it. Was that enough for you? Yay! <laughs> are you still there? <laughs> if you are, thanks for watching to the end. Have a great day. Bye. Bye.